100,000 cases of ulcerative colitis diagnosed in the U.S. annually. And here to tell us more about detection and treatment for this is Nurse Christina Paris from the VA. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Oh, great to have you in again as always. And first of all, can you explain what is ulcerative colitis? Absolutely. So ulcer ulcerative colitis, easy for us to say, huh, this morning, um, otherwise known as UC, and you'll hear commercials about UC and Crohn's. It's an autoimmune disorder that affects the colon. So when we talk about Crohn's, it's also an autoimmune disorder, which means when we have colds, our bodies fight against the colds um, and flus. But this is where your body thinks that something normal is abnormal and it fights against itself. Um, and that's why it's uh, autoimmune. So it's fighting against the colon and irritate, irritated by different cells that are in the colon. Wow, that's really interesting there. And you know, of course, that one question I think everybody would have is what are the symptoms that people should look out for? So the symptoms that you wanna watch for is frequent um, diarrhea, like more than 10 a day and urgency, like you really have to make it to the bathroom. Um, you wanna watch for any um, bleeding or abnormal stools, things that come out um, that that aren't normally there. Tummy cramps, stomach, abdominal cramps, fevers, fatigue, weight loss. Um, those are um, a lot of the symptoms. You can even have other symptoms that go uh, oh, outside of the colon, like you might have joint ra uh, joint pain, rash, skin rashes, and um, pain in your eyes or swelling. Um, you can have sores in your mouth and nose too. Sure. Okay. So a, a lot of symptoms to look out for, and uh, you know, go go see a doctor if you're experiencing them. Um, you explained a little bit about kind of what causes it, but you know, also how is it diagnosed? So oftentimes they'll do a colonoscopy or a sigmoidoscopy, um, and that's where they take a camera and they go inside and look uh, to see what's going on. Um, you can also, uh, they will do blood tests and skin tests. Um, that's that's basically and, and symptom management right. you know you'll have symptoms so of course yeah. and I know like you know if, if you've described the symptoms and I know if if I saw anything like that I would be a, a little nervous um, so what are some of the best methods that people can do to treat it so what you want to do is find out what the cause is oftentimes it can be um, dietary or food related so it you want to reduce the amount of foods or find out what food is really irritating it whether it's a high fiber food or um, high gas or dairy, things like that. Um, eat smaller, more frequent meals. If you're lactose intolerant, then you wanna limit the amount of lactose. Bland foods, uh, restrict your intake um, of raw foods too. There are medications that can be used. You know, we see a lot of those commercials on TV. And then um, increase your, just your overall wellness with exercise and good nutrition. Great, and it sounds like when it comes to the diet, you know, everyone might be a little bit different in terms of what they triggers are. them right. um, so definitely something good to keep in mind there all right well thank you so much uh, I feel like I learned so much about something I didn't know uh -huh. much about before so we really appreciate that and uh, we'll talk to you again next week sounds good all right thank you <laughs>